Hi, I'm Jen. I am the supervisor of digital and maker services for the Indian Trails Public Library District. Uh, thank you for joining me today as I unbox the library's very first 3D printer. Uh, the 3D printer will live in the launch pad, the library's brand new makerspace that will be located in our newly renovated building. Uh, this is Aleph Industries Lulzbot Mini. The Lulzbot Mini is one of the two 3D printers the library will have. Uh, this is the smaller of the two. We will have its sister product, the Lulzbot Taz 6, available when the launch pad opens on April 10th. We chose the Lulzbot product for a few different reasons. Uh, number one, they're lightweight, they are durable, and they're easy to use. Many of the parts on the machine itself are actually 3D printed. So what that means is that at the library, we can fix broken parts rather than having to close the machine down or wait for a technician to come in and fix it. The software that Aleph Industries uses with the Lulzbot is what's called open source software. So what that means is that the software used to run the machines is at no extra cost to the library. Lulzbot and Aleph Industries are dedicated to open source software, and that's a big part of what it means to be part of the maker movement, is that you are giving as well as you are receiving, you are sharing and sharing alike. What this means for our members is that you have the opportunity to use free and open source software at home to 3D model or create prints and then submit them to the library for the physical printing via an online 3D print submission form. All right, so let's get unboxing. And this is for real unboxing. We didn't open it and then reseal it or anything either. So you're seeing it real hand, first hand here. Not that strong today. Okay. So, start here kit with your safety and warnings. Very good to have. And our bag of accessories. So I already know what's in here. So it's your uh, USB stick that has your software, again, free. Uh, to download. We have the um, HDMI cord to use and then we also have some of the extra 3D, um, the print head cleaning brushes. Oh, but wait, there's more. This is, oh, some free filament to use as well. First thing we can say is it's very well packaged. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. All right, got it. <laughs> All right. Wow, I wonder what I could do with these foam pieces. Okay, so as we are unboxing, let me take a quick second and point out to you a few of the features that you can see here of the Lulzbot Mini. The Lulzbot Mini has uh, a print bed that you can see can move forward and backward. So what that does is it allows you to have more freedom of movement with your print. Uh, you can see here the print bed is a smaller print bed. So what that means is that this machine will be best suited to do smaller objects. So the print area for this is six inches by six inches by six inches. All right, so we have um, downloaded and installed our software. Uh, Cura and Slicer are the ones that we're using. Again, free, open source. You can check them out at home if you would like. What we have to do right now is set our temperatures for our machine. So this print 
um, extruder that's uh, in the middle here. So what it will do is it takes the PLA filament and it heats it up. And a 3D print on this type of machine starts from the bottom and works its way up in this direction. So in order for the filament to go from something harder into something that's moldable, the extruder head there, that's the part that has to be heated to 205. It can get 205 is the minimum. It can get as hot as 300 degrees. So what that means is don't touch it. It's very hot. Um, and then the print bed here that's along the bottom, that heats up too, to about 60 degrees is the average that we're using with the PLA filament. And that is to make it easier for you to remove the 3D print job when it's finished. Um, you might have just heard me mention that PLA is the type of filament we're using. There are a bunch out there, but PLA stands for polylactic acid. So what that means is that this is a um, filament that is made out of the same materials as they use for a plastic water bottle or a plastic cup. Um, it is biodegradable and it's very pliable once it's heated, but as we know, think of a water bottle. It's firm once it's heated and it's molded into the proper uh, shape that you're looking for. So when you buy your Lulzbot, what happens is they do a test print and they send it to you. So here's the test print that was already made by Lulzbot when they manufactured our machine. <laughs> and then um, the one we are doing now is like a test print in the moment. But if you can see here, there's this little piece of old filament sticking out. So this is from the print that they did at the, uh, the manufacturing center. So we need to take out this piece of filament and load in our new filament. So it's very easy and very simple to do this. You're moving what's called your idler to the right, nope, up, sorry, not to the right. <laughs> and then you should be able to pull the old filament and you can see it's a little sticky there. So you should be able to pull that part out and then take your new filament and load it in. And you should be able to put it in and then you feel it go down as far as it can go. Then you move your print head back together and snap it into place. There we go. So the filaments that we're using too, it comes in multiple sizes. This one is a three millimeter filament. That's, um, there's believe two different sizes that our machine can use and that's one of them. So I think we are ready to do our very first test print of the Roctopus. Oh. So one cool thing to note about 3D printers is that a 3D print starts from the bottom up no matter what kind of 3D print it is. The software takes the picture and diverts or converts it into small slices. So no matter if you'll see it won't print one whole piece and then go back to the next, what will happen is that it will 3D print all the way across. So now we have about 20 minutes of printing. So while we're waiting for our Roctopus to print, why don't I tell you a few cool things to know about 3D printing here at the Indian Trails Public Library. So 3D print modeling can be done here at the library or at home. So you can use the software here in the library or you can download the software at home and files that you want to print at home and then submit them to the li library via our 3D print submission form on the library's website. 3D printing is really inexpensive. Uh, prints are measured by weight, not by size. So what that means is the cost to the member is about 10 cents per gram. So to print something uh, like a phone case might only cost about a dollar 
versus printing a piece that is more solid, say a replacement piece for a pencil sharpener, that might cost a little bit more. Um, but depending on the size, that will be what determines the cost. So you could print something that is long and thin, and it may cost less than something that is some small and very, very compact. It's by the weight. And then also the library will be hosting lots of classes on how to 3D model. So we plan to use open source software as well. Think of Tinkercad. Um, that's one you could check out today if you would like. You just create a free account and you're ready to go. We'll be doing classes on everything from jewelry creation to creating miniatures to be painted, lots of different options. And we're always here to help. You can also set up one-on-one -on -one appointments through our Book a Maker program. And that again is a form on our website. You can fill out, tell us a little bit about what you want to do, and we'll connect you with one of the Launchpad staff members to get your project from idea into model. And then we will also have a 3D scanner that you can use in our space as well. So what that means is that you can take an object, again, say a replacement part for a pencil sharpener or something like that, put it onto the 3D scanner, which will have a rotating bed and a stationary camera. It will scan from all angles and then it will convert it into an image file. We'll show you a little bit about that at another time. And then finally, we're so excited to see what you can do. The printing will start, again, it will be available on April 10th when the library opens and it'll be down in the launch pad. We will start out with hours Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Nope. We will have hours from uh, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 to 4 on Saturdays, and one to four on Sundays. So there will be time for you to come in every day of the week to talk with one of our Launchpad staff members. And we will have extended hours in the summer as well. Also, we will be hosting drop-in programs and we will have the opportunity for you to come in and to try something at our DIY try table. So there will always be a new project for you to check out, no matter how many times you come in. Our launch pad is also open to all ages, birth through senior. So what that means is that you are able to think of things you would like to do as a family. You can come in as a group. There are things you'll be able to work on together. Our librarians are working very hard to provide you with excellent STEAM, STEM, art, craft programs, tons of stuff to try out the launch pad and to really live our motto, which is curiosity starts here. So I bent one of his little tentacles up, so I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, so here is our very first 3D printed object. It is the Roctopus for uh, the Lulzbot Mini. Um, and this is just one of the first things we expect to print. Let me show you, this is the one we did today and this is the one that Lulzbot printed with our machine for quality control. So I just wanted to show you that you can do multiple sizes as well. So you could do something a little bit larger. You can do a little tiny guy that's a little bit smaller. Um, all right. Well, thank you so very much for 3D printing with us today. And thank you for joining me for our very first unboxing video. We hope to have you stop by the library and the launch pad on April 10th. We'll see you then. Bye.